Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our Feed My Kins run here on Azilanka. Just working on finishing up the straw here. Also finishing up harvesting the field itself. Very, very close to uh, our transition to uh, to potato chips and chocolate. I just realized, um, do the big bad machines, I don't want to get a mod for better, um, crossover between the vegetables and all that other stuff. Um, just the one that does sugar beets, it does potatoes too. Yeah. Okay. So what we might do is just, we might just get one of these, you know, <laughs> when we get over to the potatoes and, and sugar beet side of things. So, cause we're going to need sugar and, uh, it'd be nice to have like a big old giant self-propelled thing. I don't know if we can afford it or not. We'll have to find out, but um, we'll see. We'll see. That might be kind of a uh, a good goal for us is to be able to go kind of go that route. Because obviously we'll need we'll need uh, potatoes. We'll need um, we'll still need straw of some sort. We will still because we need cows. Continue to write for the for the milk for the chocolate. We will need um, obviously sugar beets, and then we will also need uh, one of the oils, right? Canola or um, well, we're not going to do olive oil canola oil or sunflower oil and neither one of those gives us straw so <laughs> i gotta think about that one for a bit what we might you know what what we might need to do is for the next two years make not put any more straw because we've been putting a little bit of straw into the um biocast haven't we yeah i did put a lot of straw in the biogas all right, that's fine. We're not going to put any more straw on the biogas. Because what we need to do is we need to stockpile as much straw as we can into the barn. That way, there's a chance that we can either only do like one cycle of straw or a little bit of straw or, or skip straw altogether. Um, we'll have to see how that's going to look. If we can skip straw altogether, that would be the, the most optimal choice. Because we just don't need any of the other uh, part of the product, right? We don't need the uh, the oats or anything like that. Wasn't there something else I was going to do besides, besides the chocolate and the potato chips? I can't remember now. Obviously, we're going to keep doing the electricity with the uh, manure and the slurry. So that'll go. Because, uh, you know, teenagers still use uh, electricity, of course. <laughs> um, the question is, what else? Was there another one that I wanted to do besides that? I don't know. I have to think about it. Yeah, we'll just start keeping the straw in the barn from now on. Because that, that way we can put it both in the uh, TMR as well as the, uh, the bedding for the cows. Let me think. Let's, see, let's look at some of the other products. Anything else that we would want to do? That would make sense? I don't think so. I mean, there's other things we could do. I'm just trying to think of anything that I would do that would really jump out at me. That would be relatively simple because i don't want to add a lot to the to the to the stuff but also would still kind of make sense with the theme i don't know maybe ch maybe chocolate and uh 
Because chocolate's going to have two inputs. Potato chips are going to have two inputs. You know, that's four. That is four crops right there. That might be plenty, actually. Because this straw barn holds, what, a million liters? Something like that. Does it tell me? I don't know if it tells me. I think it holds a million. Yeah, million liters. So yeah, it'll be, and it can hold hay as well if we ever want to put it there, but I don't think we will. So that'll be good. This will hold plenty of straw. I think that's a really good plan. It's just pump all the straw we can into there for the next few cycles and then potentially not have to do any straw after that. All right. Well, that's that for all the crops. Are we still just doing one round of corn? We still have more corn than oats. So, yeah. So next cycle will still be one cycle of uh, corn. Everything else will be oats. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Cool. Let's grab you. Get you dropped off. Actually, let's get you parked somewhere. I forgot we had oats here, though. Actually, so never mind. That's, that's actually not true, what I just said. We will probably need to do two rounds of corn, one round of oats next cycle, because we'll have a little bit less corn. I forgot we hadn't even dumped off the oats for this month yet. We haven't dumped the corn yet, either. So, we'll see once we harvest the corn where we're at, I guess. Getting a bit ahead of myself, I suppose. We've only got like two more rounds of corn slash oats that we're going to be doing anyway. So uh, what I need to do is see if we need to turn off the raisin production. Because if we only got two more years, right? Um, Yeah, we're going to start year 13 is when we start transitioning over to potato chips. So. Hmm. It would not surprise me if we probably need a little bit more raisins. We don't probably not much more. We probably need a little bit, although it might just be best just to turn it off anyway. And then if we need more, we can turn it back on. Because we make enough raisins to supply it, right? Pretty sure we do. Um, raisins are one to one. So they're 6,480 per month. And we use only 2,000 per month. So yeah, we can make we can make enough raisins to supply it if we run out at some point. So I think we make sure that the raisins sell. Um, so distributing, selling is two, two over. Okay. So I just want to make sure I hit this twice so I can make sure. Because I don't want it to store any. I want to make sure it goes straight to selling. Oh, I think it did spit some out. Oh, that's all right. We'll pick those up and we'll bring them over here to distribute if we need to. All righty. Well, that is that. I guess I can turn you around and park you somewhere for a minute. Now we'll start selling a few raisins for now. I mean, arguably we could even get rid of these, but we, we don't have to. We, once we get to the point where we're done with cereal, we can just let the, uh, we can then sell those and then let the grape units process what they have left. 
Okay. Uh, cows, how are you guys cows doing? Cows need some TMR and they're fine on straw, but they do need some TMR. So we'll get that filled up here in just a second. Uh, did I already check the used lot? I did. All right, so let's grab you for some TMR then. It's interesting that 45 cows is enough to kind of do everything we needed to do. But I think we're getting plenty of money off of them. I mean, we could, we could do more cows at some point, but I think it's going to be fine with what we got. There. Obviously, more cows would be <laughs> more expensive. A lot more work to maintain. I don't know if our grass field can keep up with another set of cows, to be honest. So... All right, let's go ahead and put a cut, skip in there. Nice cut, but a skip in there. Uh, September is when we're harvesting the corn, yes? No, October is when we're harvesting corn. Okay. Sounds good. I think we need to do lime again soon. We're okay. Everything's okay right at the moment. All right, let's go ahead and get you finished tempting out here a little bit. Cows will need some straw soon, but not yet. Uh, I got a little bit of money. That's good. Um, nothing there that we want. It's going to be a short month, isn't it? Because, like I said, the corn's not ready to harvest yet, so we are pretty much just... I think we're just doing what we just did. <laughs> I think that's it. Uh, let's just double check to make sure the cereal is not filling up or anything like that. Now that it's actually got inputs. Nope, we're still good on the cereal. Do need some silage for this, but we got a little bit there. And we're about to get a bunch of grass put in there for silage in a moment. All right, well, that's that. Let's very quickly fast forward again then. Get ready to start harvesting some corn. We got a fuel in here. Mm, no. Why doesn't it let us? There we go. Get you fueled back up. There's a forage wagon. We own the one we have now, don't we? Yeah, we do. So there's no value in changing those. Planter, but we don't need that either, right? We're, we own our planter. Oh, we don't own our planter. So this is a planter that does. Uh, let's see, oh, it's twelve meters wide, and this one is twelve meters wide. Hmm. Doesn't hold very much from a, a seed standpoint, though. It only holds a thousand liters.
It's nine miles an hour versus 11 miles. So this one's a little bit faster. How much would it cost us to buy this one? 86,000 bucks. So it's half the price for the same width, just a little bit slower. Hmm, that's a tough call. I mean, we obviously don't have the money for this right now, but we could if we, uh, we probably need to sell some milk, don't we? We don't have to sell some milk, but we could sell some milk. Uh, does this thing have any... The cavern land. Does it have like a seed, like increased capacity seed thing that can go on the front of the tractor? Uh, planters. No, just a wait. Really? Hmm. That is very tempting. I mean, it's a little bit slower, but it's okay. Like, it's not bad. And it's going to say it would save us some money, right? Let me think about that. Let me think about it while we're doing this harvesting. And uh, obviously, the more things we can buy, you know, the better in general. Um, do we need. Let me look in a second. What future crops will we be able to use this for? Well, if we do sunflowers or um, sugar beets as well. Okay, so it would, it would take care of both of those. So we definitely need a planter, even once we get past the corn stage. I don't know if we're going to do sunflowers or canola. I haven't decided that part yet. But we'll see. you rolling um october is mowing month so let's get you mowing Have you set to swath dropping? We do. Go ahead and go. Um, and then let's see. Well, while we got control of you, let's just go ahead and pick up some cereal real quick. I'm surprised that raisins hasn't dropped in there because we got it set to uh, sell the raisins. So. I might have to nudge it here in a minute. Excuse me. All right, coming through. I can't drive all of a sudden. I was sitting, I was watching the tractor. I wasn't paying attention to where my truck was driving. That's good. Um, 
let's see here. What else we need to do right now? Be more TMR. Now we're going to be getting on TMR for a little bit. Should drop off some straw though. And we can transport some slurry and manure over. Also, we can start picking up the, um, the grass here. I don't really want to get that much straw right now. I'm going to have to use this for corn here in a minute. Let's get enough to make sure he's topped off all right. All right, looks good. Um, let's go ahead and grab a load of manure, drop that off on the way over to pick up some corn. Because who doesn't like manure in their corn, you know? Gives a little extra flavor. Get that dropped off. Um, what else are we going to need to do? So we're going to have to grab the slurry in a moment. Let's go grab the corn first. I'm going to repair this. Oh, we just lost some money on, I'm assuming, the rental for the harvester. Might mean we, not, we, don't, we won't have enough money to get that cedar after all. Especially once I repair some stuff here. with the tractor yeah all right so we're not getting the cedar that's all right we'll just have to wait for another one in the future no worries i mean the one we got's working it's just be nice to save a little bit of money when we can
forget that this class tractor doesn't have as tight of a turnaround as the other tractor does, just based on where the uh, the, the hitch is, is located compared to the, the back of the tractor itself. All right, well, I'm going to get this dropped off, and uh, we'll be right back, and we'll finish up the corn. Still got to get the rest of the mowing, the rest of the silage picked up. Uh, we also got to plow this field over here. We've got quite, quite a few things to do, but we'll get them all done, and we'll go from there. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.